And that mole was for a daily. Hell yeah. Really nice reward from those. Now that we have some space, good luck with the daily. 50 mil. 100k tokul. 25k blood money. Not bad. Some catalyst, skiller, and luck. Really need some more combats. Hopefully we can pull them soon. I would really love to head to chambers tonight if we can. If we can join a chambers team, that'd be amazing. We can get our doubled raid loot from the Valor of Heroes event. That ends in the next 24 hours, so we really need to knock that out soon if we want to get that done. It could be some really, really helpful stuff for us, so I'd really love to. We will just see what happens though. Maybe we can tonight, maybe we can't. I would also really love to camp chambers if we can in the next few days. Just some normal chambers, if we can run some with a few different teams. Gather up a whole bunch of planks and then that'll be really good construction XP for us. That is the plan right now, I'm hoping we can get that done. Oh damn, I didn't realize we can get a whole lot of planks from Eclectic Implings too. We can get those while we are hunting the marble blocks, so that is really cool. Might just end up doing a whole lot of impling hunting in the next few days. 95 defense now. I also want to start saving up these elixirs of luck. We will need 100 of them for the Slayer Emblem in the future. It's a really, really nice item to have. It gives us 20% drop rate on task. Really amazing item for boss Slayer. So I want to have that as soon as we can. I think it'll also cost us about 500 to 1000 Slayer points. I can't remember exactly, but it's something like that. It's a decent bit. Also, for a little perspective on how much Slayer we have been doing, we are currently on a 163 task streak. Three Brim Keys, anything? Anything at all? Oh, some scrolls. About to clean up our storage some. And after a bit of sorting, there we are. Everything is pulled out. We are ready to reset the storage. I am excited. About to do our first raids on the UIM. Really, really huge. We're not in the best gear, but I think we should be able to get through this. We have to get off challenge mode too. Almost forgot that. We'll have to get off challenge mode for our first time ever right now. By the orb over here at Django. And this will be the only time we're allowed to get off challenge mode. Then we'll have to turn it on right after. There it is. First raids on the UIM. I'm pumped. Probably going to be a little bit rough, but we should be able to get through it. We don't even have soul split right now, so I'll still have to use regular prayers, even though I'm not on challenge mode right now. It'll be interesting. Really nice upgrades we can get here. Also, the common loot is really, really nice for any account. Really helpful stuff. I might raid a lot in the next few days, too. It costs us a whole lot of money to switch challenge mode on and off, so it'd be really beneficial to do a whole lot of raids at one point in time, then switch back to challenge mode, if we can do that. First raid. No purple, but that is really fucking awesome. First one complete on the UIM. We've got a Zeric cape, prize boxes. Good luck. Anything? 
Nothing. Token bags and epic bonus chests, though. That is really nice. And some point boxes. Raid number three. Another white light. Anything nice, though? Some more bones. A little bit of rune coin. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Rip. Chambers number four. Oh, my God. A spoon purple. What the fuck? And this is doubled. Good luck. Be something nice, please. Oh my fucking god, hell yes! Kodai wand? What the fuck? 4KC double Kodai. What? Holy shit, that is huge. What in the fucking hell? A massive magic upgrade plus 7,500 rune coin. That is fucking crazy. Wow. That is nuts. That was a really strong start to our raiding career on here. That is so fucking huge. Wow. Massive, massive item to get, especially this early. I am blown away at that luck, though. That is something else right there. I want to check this max hit out real quick. It's a 38 with the Kodai. And a 39 with the Arams. Damn. Yeah, so until we get better magic robes, the Arams is still going to be better, I think. I'm not 100% sure, though. The combat dummy could be miscalculating it a little bit, so I'm not totally sure. It could be totally accurate, though. I don't know. Re-elixir, and we're gonna run a few more. The Kodai Wand will still be a really nice upgrade for Slayer, too, so I'm very happy with that. Really, really spoon item to pull this early. Our log looks fucking nuts right now. First log item down. Last raid for right now, and possibly for the night. Very awesome first raid session. Ooh! Scroll of Rigor 2 to end it off. That is fucking huge, hell yeah. Playing that right now. Rigor unlocked, that is fucking massive. That'll be really, really helpful for us. All we need now is Augury and we have all the regular prayers. We have no use for the second scroll of Rigor, so I'm just gonna drop it right here. That's going to be so nice for when we continue range training. Really happy that we got that. It is safe to say this Valor of Heroes event was a very big win for us. A lot of amazing progress. Not able to get all of this done, but that doesn't really matter overall. Oh damn, it's only 400 Slayer points for the uh, Enchanted Slayer Emblem, plus the 100 Elixirs of Luck. It's not too bad. Oh, it's three of each, okay. That's still not too bad at all. What is that, 450, 150, yeah, 600 points? That'll be easy. Before I forget, since we are done raiding for right now, we need to turn challenge mode back on. Not sure when we will raid again, I don't think that's going to be the best way to get a whole lot of planks either because in normal chambers, we don't have a lot of drop rolls. We could go really, really dry on planks. I really don't want to risk that, so I might just chase implings for a long time. We could get a whole lot of marble blocks that way. We could get the planks that we need. I think we can get it done that way. Got to turn our elixirs off real quick. And now we are back to challenge mode. I forgot, it only costs GP whenever we're turning it off. Not on. Well, that's pretty sweet. We are starting at 79 prayer. Let's see how far these bones will take us. I should probably grab the Varrock top right now too. This is a decent bit of bones. It'll help a lot. 